Okay, in this module, because we're looking at uh, measures of center and measures of spread, we're going to look at how tinker plots can help us with that. Remember, we do want you to be able to do them by hand as well, but we're going to let tinker plots do some for us. So we did some of this in the last video, actually, in module one, because I did show you how to have it find the mean and the median for the heights for each of those positions in basketball. Um, but we'll just take another look at that and then we'll look at how to make dot plots which you'll be doing and how to make um, box plots as well so let's go to file open sample document remember if you need the path if it doesn't default to datas and demos go to program or to local disk and then to program files tinker plots data and demos and then we're going to look at social studies and let's look at U.S. cities right now. These are already arranged in some by longitude and latitude. Let's um, rearrange these randomly. And currently it's colored by land area. Um, let's just look at maybe population in the year 2000 and we can fully separate these cases horizontally. Remember as I drag just a little it makes bins. And as I drag further and further, it's going to fully separate them. If I didn't, then I can just pull it some more and it'll fully separate these. So we can see that there's this one city, which one is it? Well, I'm surprising, New York City that has a very high population. And Los Angeles also has a high population, not quite as high as New York City and so on. There's Chicago and Houston. And then we have all these down here, cities we haven't heard of as much, um, that have lower populations. Right now these are vertically random, but if I stack them, then it puts a count over here. So we can see that there's just one here, but then we have about 60 that have about the same population of around 62,000 or so. Um, so we can kind of get an idea of what the um, data, how, what the spread of the data are in what the spread of the data is looking at this picture. Um, remember we can change our attributes that are on the horizontal axis. So right now I have population in 2000. Let's look at population in 1990 and see if it looks much different. Well, there's some that shifted around but overall shape is pretty similar. Um, let's t look at land area. Now, did you notice that that one that was way over here before switched spots? So now this is Anchorage, Alaska is now the one that's way up here. You'll be learning about outliers in this module as, as well. So it appears as if this is an outlier. Um, probably some of these others might be as well. You can, you'll go through how to do those calculations um, in one of your investigations in the Bridging the Gap book. But let's look at making um, box plots using Tinker Plots. So if we click on this drop down arrow under hats and you click on a box plot here it puts the block box plot we can see a little whisker over here so we've got this small box because this is where most of the data are so 75 percent of the data are below 130 square miles for their land area um, Currently, it, the, this whisker is going all the way out here, but we said, remember, I think this is probably an outlier. You can click on show outliers and it will put the outliers there and then it changed how far the whisker went out. Let's put something like population down here. Again, it looks like a pretty similar, we don't need this anymore. It looks like a pretty similar box plot that's kind of all crunched over here, but yet we have some outliers out here. If we look at something like air quality, oh, that box plot kind of shifted over this way and now we have some outliers at the lower end. So these data are skewed to the left, whereas when we had population in the other ones, those are skewed with this tail going out here to the right. Let's look at something like water quality. If we put that one here. This one doesn't seem to be nearly as skewed. Do we still have the outliers on? Yep, so it looks like we've got no outliers for these data since they're just, the whiskers go all the way to the end. And this looks like it's a little bit more um, symmetrical. We don't have as much skew going on. So remember um, that the whiskers show us where 25% of the data are. 
So this whisker is definitely longer than this portion of the box where there's another 25% of the data here. So these 25% are a lot more clumped together. There's a lot more data points closer together right here, whereas these are more spread out. Same number of data points in this long whisker as in this short little part of the box, but they're clumped together more closely and spread out more over here. Um, looks like this, half, this part of the box is a little bit more narrow than that one is, so they're a little bit clumped together even more here, probably having this um, high frequency of about 60 or around in the 50s is causing these to be pretty clumped together and then these this whisker is again longer than here so we have the same number of data points up here as we do in these in each of these parts of the box and in this whisker but these are going to be some more spread out and we can see that here these data are more spread out whereas here they're kind of clumped together so that's just a quick look at how to make a box plot and it puts the box plot right there on top of the dot plot so we can see the relationship between them um, and how to do that in Tinker Plots. Again, the median, click here and it tells us what the median is. You can show the show numeric value as well. So the median water quality index is about 49.3. The mean water quality index is about 48. If we put population here we see the mean population is about 419,000. The median population is 237,000, quite a bit lower than the mean. That's because outliers really affect mean, whereas they don't affect the median. So um, this kind of gives us a good visual of that here, where we can see the difference between the mean and the median are quite a bit are pretty drastic because of these outliers that are way up here. So there's a quick overview of making um, box plots and finding the mean and the median using your Tinker Plot software. Again, ask your facilitator if you have any further questions about Tinker Plots and refer back to the videos that are on the Tinker Plots website.